I can wear high heels now as well. Action. Hello, my name's Lauren and I have Ellis Danlos Syndrome. Here yeah, is me about five years ago, um, just when I was released from Adam's programme. Um, I first came to see Adam because um, I had an injury where I was in high heels, I was on a date with my now boyfriend and I went over on my ankle over some cobbles in Newcastle and my hip popped. Um, I just continued the night as you do when you struggle with things like ADS and hypermobility syndrome. Uh, the next day I woke up in agony, um, ended up in hospital, had some scans done and found out that I had torn all of the muscles that keep my joints together. Ended up going and having a hip arthroscopy surgery and I was on crutches for a very, very long time. Um, I had physiotherapy but it wasn't programmed for ADS so I was really at a loss of what to do to be able to get off crutches and to have some sort of normal life. So I did what most of you have done is Google and I found Adam. So I got in touch straight away and within hours I was in the studio getting to work. I think it took about a week and a half to get me off crutches and walking. We worked very, very hard over the next couple of weeks to regain in some strength in my body and also to regain all of stability back. I was then released from Adam's um, programmes um, and I lived a really, really good life. Um, I felt back to normal, very, very strong. Um, I was back at work as an accountant. Um, then it all went wrong. I didn't continue working with what Adam taught me to do. I kind of took for granted that, OK, I'm now fixed. But with ADS, there is no cure. So what happened? I ended up ringing Adam and crying down the phone. I've made a mistake. I've took it for granted. I need to come back. It was then I realised how important it is that you need to continually work on all of the things that Adam asks you to do. Otherwise, you'll end up back to where you started. And it's a very, very tough journey. I found it more difficult going through the second time than what I did the first time. And that was following surgery. I was very, very low. I was really depressed. I was off sick with depression and I just didn't know where I was. So after a couple of weeks, I learned a hell of a lot more from Adam. I realised how important it is to continually work on me inside and outside to be able to live a happy life. I learned a lot about my body, about myself. I ended up quitting my job as an accountant and following my dreams. I am now a dog trainer and I work in a doggy daycare and I'm on my feet constantly. Dog walking, dog playing, playing tug of war. I also then got myself a second dog, which is a Labrador. And if you've got a Labrador, you know how energetic they are. So when I'm not working, I am now out running, playing with the dog, playing football, going hiking. We're always out and about for hours and hours and hours. We do agility, which makes me run, jump and things like that. So if it wasn't for Adam teaching me how to be able to stabilise my joints and look after myself, I wouldn't be where I am now. I'm living a very, very happy life. I'm pain free. I've had no dislocations. Um, I'm out and about. I'm healthy. And most importantly, I'm really, really happy and I haven't actually been back to see Adam since. So it's been about three and a half years, no dislocations, no pain. And the reason why that is, is because I've continued this programme that Adam taught me. I can even now wear high heels, which I've never been able to do for years. And if you're like me, you like to dress up and go out. And I've, I was always that girl out there in a lovely dress with flat shoes on. And I had lost all confidence. Now I'm in high heels and I'm all dolled up, I'm dancing with friends and I feel a part of everybody now. I'm not that person I've got to watch in case I fall over, if I get knocked over or if I dislocate this. But don't take for granted that once you've done all of the exercises that that's you for life now, you are quite happy. You have to continually work at it and trust me, if you do, you'll live a very, very happy pain-free life.